Hello everyone, welcome back to Spellcaster University! So, last time, we had all kinds of crazy shenanigans occur, including the discovery of an Archmage Tower, which we went and explored, and it turned out to be a pretty dramatic dungeon-type scenario, in which we gained a lot of cards, look at all these nature rooms down here. But we did also kill a student, you know, win some, lose some, can I say that? Not really sure. Anyway, today we return and we progress on trying to achieve the two goals that we still have not yet achieved and uh, placing some nature rooms it seems. So let's do it, shall we? Having a little look around for a good slot to put this one in. And uh, up here would be quite nice, do you not think? Hmm, I think so, I think so. Let's stick it right there. Okay, teacher, who shall we have? Abby Shamrock. I mean, that is a very appropriate name for someone that teaches in nature, isn't it? Shamrock, bigger plant and all. Or Herbert Twang. So he is technically a bit better on the old teaching, but um, yeah, I just really like her name. It seems very, very good. So in you come, Abby. Come to our wonderful nature classroom. Now, if we look at this, we can see that there is no bonuses other than to increase the efficiency level, but we've got six of the blooming things. So yeah, Let's let's level this room up a bit, shall we? And another one. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of uh, strong nature mana, I think, because, um, yeah, everyone's going to be very efficient in this room. So it's going to be our highest leveled room at a wonderful level five with a plus 50 percent efficiency. Magnificent. Yes. Now our other cards, we have a crypt and I'm going to just level up this lovely crypt here. Have a quick look. I'm not that keen on either of those for the moment. I would rather keep it on the efficiency bonus. And then we got a couple of these things, the Sylvan King's Horns. So when a student is at least level three druidism, they get the Sylvan King's Horns and then their tiredness is slower. Now, I'm happy to put this in, but I'm just not sure that we're going to have anyone that's capable of it. I mean, we do have the Dolmen, which allows them to increase their druidism skills, but uh, yeah. Plunk it out. I'm not sure we need two though, do we? Can we even have two? Yes, yes we can. We can have two. Well there you go. Experimental uh, tactics show that we can have two, so maybe we should have taken that into account before I just uh, dropped it off as we could have recycled that into some mana, but hey, I didn't, and here we are. Now, time to gather some cards. Our favourite, the good old arcane card. What do we fancy today? Crystal Ball, where active teachers have a chance of getting rid of negative traits. Sounds quite good. A Royal Banner, where active characters can improve your king reputation. Interesting. Or an interdimensional room, where we can improve that lovely room. I think we're going to... Uh, let's have a Crystal Ball, shall we? And uh, let's stick it right here in this here trophy room. And then hopefully teachers all over the place will just be able to get rid of negative stuff, right? I think that's how it works. So hope for the best. Now, as you can see, we've just paid out loads of money on the old uh, term summary salaries, but we've got loads because we won loads in the wonderful dungeon. So let's let some new students arrive. Who have we got? Sabrina, in you come. We've got Merbel, of course, welcome. And Elvis, strong name, strong name, come in, come in. And uh, Eglifin, not really sure about that one, but welcome. And we've got Eleanor. Oh, we've got loads of uh, students today. Here's Arnold and Phelan. Loads of them. Right, back to gathering cards, I think. So, another arcane card. What are we going to have? Um, I mean, it's offering us another interdimensional room and an elementalist dojo. And they are both the things we're aiming towards. So uh, yes, let's have another interdimensional room. As we are aware from last time that this room doesn't have the highest efficiency bonus. So now with three level ups, it's up to plus five. So that's quite useful, actually. Um, yeah, we'll let that occur. Okay. Oh, our guinea pig friend has returned. So it's time to send off some communication to the outside world, it seems. Who are we going to chat with today? Well, uh, we've got 85 with them, so we're getting all those bonuses. We've got 60 with them. It would be nice to get them a tiny bit higher. I'm not sure quite what we need to do in order to do so, but let's chat to the orcs and hope, shall we? Yes. 
Okay. Ah, humans, what do you want? There is some activity in the orc village. Grump, the chief's son, has once again lost his little dog, Nerfy. This is a good opportunity to be liked by the clan. Ooh, ooh, I will take it if they like me. So, options here. We could gain 10 by just reminding them we're allies. We could receive some nature mana. We could Lord of Evil strength minus three. Interesting. Uh, or we could give 50 nature mana to draw the card Orc Hound. Okay, interesting. Oh, shame we don't have a, a cleaning potion, eh? That would have been good. That would have been good, but we don't. So the interesting thing is this would be the one I would think is the right one to choose, but it doesn't actually get us any benefit in terms of, you know, uh, reputation with the faction. Oh well, we're going to get an orc count. Why not? Let's do it. What does an orc count do? Decreases the desire of active students in the same room to misbehave, and bites them occasionally to speed up the learning process. Interesting. Well, um, sure, we'll have one. Come live in our uh, wonderful little stable that we set up last time. Let's see what you look like. Oh, he's quite cute, isn't he? He appears to be trying to run into a wall, but uh, he's quite cute. Off he goes on his merry little visit. Oh, look at that little smile. Oh, I like him. Oh, and uh, would you look at this? We're being contacted. Uh, zzz, brr, brr, zzz. The giant forest troll writhes. Be careful! Okay. Well, we really don't want him to wake up. Um, so, let's try the sleep spell, shall we? It does actually lower our faction reputation with him a little bit less, which is always a bonus, so fingers crossed that'll help. Um, and yes, let's get a few more cards quickly while we've got the chance. Ooh, a coffee machine! Now, I like the sound of that. Active teachers in this room gain the caffeinated modifier, which reduces tiredness gain by 100% for a few minutes, but also gives them a small chance of unionising. <laughs> okay, interesting. Or we could have the light room, which um, gives us access to all of the types of light magic, or if we really wanted it, we could have our eighth nature room, but I don't think that's really necessary. Oh no, let's, let's, let's have a coffee machine. Why not? I'm sure it'll be lovely. Right, pause it quickly. Where can we stick our coffee machine? Oh, it could go in all kinds of rooms. How about in this one? This one being... Ah, oh, the teacher's lounge. That was a solid opportunity to put it in there, wasn't it? Okay, I quite enjoy that. Now, while we pause, I'm going to quickly pick a few more cards for us. So, another standard card. Ooh, a private bedroom. Interesting. Two students to rest in great conditions. Okay. School coat of arms to generate some prestige, or a medicine cabinet to allow active characters to generate some health. So that is also good. Um, I mean, we don't seem to have any of these, but I quite like the idea of a private bedroom to give them some sanity. But then I also like the idea of us gaining more prestige. So uh, we're going for the coat of arms. Hopefully that'll fit nicely into our trophy room, which it does. Magnificent. Oh, look! It even is our wonderful coat of arms with our little red dragon on it. Oh, I enjoy that a lot. Magnificent. Okay. Um, now, more cards, more cards. We'll have another one of these. Options. Oh, we could have a new house. Oh, I would like a new house. That would be really quite handy. Okay, yes. Let's have a new house. Probably should have taken the shadow room as we're not very good at uh, use of that, but I want the new house. Uh, that's going to cause me a big admin in a minute, but we will do it anyway. We will get to the light room. Uh, Heroes, Chapel, Archangel Wings, Vars. Well, we've got all three, so let's just level up the Heroes Chapel. And oh, we've just got enough for alchemy, so we'll have one of those as well. Ooh, an observatory. A classroom that generates mana proportionate to student levels. If the students are very good, it generates a lot of mana. Okay, very interesting. I could be tempted by that, and it looks rather fabulous. Now what's this? An Alembic. Active characters in the room have a chance of creating alcohol component cards. Okay. Now I think I'm sold on the observatory. Let's have that. Now, where are we going to place this in our glorious school? How about up here? And teacher, teacher, teacher. Come on in, Samantha. Look at that. Oh my. Now that is rather glorious, isn't it? A nice telescope. Gorgeous staircase. Hmm 
quite enjoyable. Okay, now grab a nature card very quickly. Oh, a mandragork. I'm not even sure if this is supposed to be a mandrake or a dragon or an orc or some kind of hybrid of the lot, but it's adorable and I love it. Okay. Active characters in the room have a chance of creating mandragork root component cards. Interesting. Okay. We could have another piggle chamber, but I think we're all right for that. Or we could get a greenhouse, which could be quite good, actually. A room that allows them to improve herbalism and uh, gives you another slot for a magical creature, which is always good. So yes, let's have the greenhouse and we'll stick the greenhouse in. Where is it going to fit? Um, anywhere, anywhere. Oh, it's not going to fit very many places, is it? I think over here is our only option. Okay, well, we'll stick it there then. And let's pick, who are we going to have? Oh, you're both pretty uh, even, aren't you? What does researcher do? While teaching, this teacher generates some mana points. Well, I guess we'll have you then, William. In you come. It does look rather nice, this room, doesn't it? A nice glass ceiling, lots of plants. Oh, rather lovely. Okay. Now, I think we can afford one more standard card before we're going to have difficulty paying our next round of salaries. So let's do that. Oh look, a cat! A creature that wanders around the school and reduces all the needs of the characters working in the same room. Oh, that's adorable! I mean, a painting? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Active characters in the room, bolstered by art, which reduces the growth rate of their needs. And you can choose the painting, which is quite cool. But it's a kitty cat! We're having a cat. Okay. In you come, cat. And you can live... Um, why don't you live in the uh, greenhouse? Yes. Oh, look at him. He's adorable. Oh, I enjoy that very much. Very beautiful. Now, quickly, let's go and set up our new house, shall we? Okay. Oh my, this is enjoyable, isn't it? Rather jazzy indeed. And they've got a pre-selected green uniform. Um, we've already got grey and purple. I'm not sure how I feel about green, but uh, how about this lighter green? Because that kind of works with this. Perfect. Now, our houses features. Alchemy Apprentice could be quite fun. And then we could have some people, you know, specialising in alchemy in here. Or Arcane Scholar, which is what we have in our other house. Hmm. I think let's go for Alchemy Apprentice, and then down here we will have... Let's have Popular and try and like, you know, boost these guys. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. Okay, now what I'm going to need to do is go into here, into our Classes and Students button, and do a bit of sorting. I'm gonna have to look through all of these chaps and see if there's anybody that is, you know, actually good at the old Alchemy, which is going to be a priority for this lot and um, switch them across. Back in a tick or two. Okay, and we are back. And I've been through everyone, and there were only two people that had the default Alchemy Apprentice trait, so there's only two people I dragged across. However, there's a few things I noticed. Firstly, that this is in fact a white robe, and doesn't look that nice, so we swapped to the blue. Secondly, oh my days, look at all these aberrations! Look, <laughs> they're all like... Oh, it's bonkers. This guy's becoming a pumpkin. This guy's got mushrooms growing out of his head. These guys have been aging and growing beards. Insane, but rather bonkers, and I quite enjoy looking at it. Anyway, another thing I've noticed is also, look, look at how many of these guys have all got that amulet. So that's rather nice, isn't it? Clearly our studies of the arcane are actually going quite well. So there you go. Something good to note. Quite enjoy that. And anyway, this is here, it's ready, and if we do get any more people coming in who seem suited to alchemy, we can always stick them into this school, and it will just be something different, something else to try and gain a little bit in that direction. So we'll keep that, we'll keep that. Moving on, let's let things roll. Now, the Heroes Chapel, let's place that, let's use that just to level up this Heroes Chapel. Oh, look at that, gold statues in there. It's rather gorgeous, isn't it? Now we've already put Protective Oath in here, which is uh, that students lose less health. Do we want Anger Oath? I'm not sure we do. I think I prefer the idea of an efficiency bonus, so I will let that occur. And then, oh, time for some more students. So, welcome Gil, you can join. Why don't we just stick you in this uh, one here, just to, you know, boost it up, get some more numbers in this place, shall we? 
Yes, let's just uh, fill this this uh, new class up nicely. And uh, what have you got to say? Let's see. We're bored. We're bored. We don't know what to do. There's nothing fun to do in the students' hall. Oh, well, that's very sad. Okay. Well, we can't do the top one due to our lack of alchemy mana, so that's not going to happen. We could offer to find them a critter to keep them busy, which would cost us 120 gold. We could put together a nature trip with the Adventurer's Guild, which would get us a couple of cards, but lose us a little bit of faction there. Or we could tell them to revise, which would um, give us negatives on all of our mana. Okay, so I guess the question is, do we value our faction with the Adventurer's Guild, or do we value our money? I say, let's go on this adventure, and then we'll just chat to the Adventurer's Guild in a minute. Let's do it, it'll be great. Okay, so we've now got all of these. A Parker Fit Hat, an alchemical component used to create potions, which require three different components. Okay, and the Mandragork Root, which is also used to create components, which came from that wonderful creature we saw a few moments ago. Now, something we've not yet done is brewing, but you need three components and we've got four, so let's give it a crack, shall we? Oh yes. One of you. One of you. And... Oh, you cannot use the same ingredient twice. Okay, well, we tried. We really did try. Um, let's wait for another component, shall we? And then we can do some brewing. I'm sure it won't take us too long to track down another component. Until then, let's let things roll on. Can we send a little memo off to our friends in the uh, Adventurer's Guild yet? Oh no, not quite yet. Need to wait a little bit longer for that. But we could draw a nature card deck, so... And we also could draw an arcane card deck, so let's do that, shall we? Ooh, a green dragon! I don't think we've got one of those yet. And a totem? Interesting. But it's not a dragon, is it? Dragon! Dragon! Come and live down here. Yes, look at him flying around, being glorious. Ah, I do so enjoy the dragons. Okay. Oh, it looks like there's a fire going on in there. And in there. Oh my days. It's all a bit worrying, isn't it? Now, quickly, before we have our next graduation ceremony, let's grab those other cards we were looking at. So, a new arcane card. Ooh, I haven't seen this one before. Sign of the Eldest. When a student is at least level 3 in Demonology and level 2 in Portal Magic, they receive the Sign of the Eldest. Now when they receive a future, the Lord of Evil is repelled by 1%. That would be magnificent if we were able to study Demonology. I'm not certain that we are. Okay, so Large Hourglass, active students in the room, slightly improve their Temporal Magic skills. Well, I'm going to take this one because I think it would be great to start repelling the uh, Dark Lord. And I'm just going to have a little scout around the place and see. So we've definitely got this one, which is necromancy. Have we got any other of the shadow rooms? Oh, oh, no, I forgot. We do, we do. We have this one. The demonic chamber. Oh, we're okay. We're okay. We can, in fact, do demonology. So that's good. Well, you never know then. Maybe someone will pick up the sign of the eldest. Set that free into the world. And we'll grab another shadow card while we're here. Okay, so we could have a janitor's lodge. Now this would be good, as it cleans walls and improves the room's efficiency. Cool. Ritual components, so teachers have a chance of creating component cards. Or an evil banner. I'm not sure I necessarily want to improve my reputation with the Lord of the Evil, but I fancy the idea of a janitor, so let's have one of those. And let's stick it in here. We've got a gap, why not? Okay, who's going to come clean the place? Both of you are quite exciting. Um, I mean, Vincent, you've got a glorious green beard and you are evil. And this thing is apparently like a bit evil. So why not Vincent Brownie, our new janitor? Marvellous. Now, now we've sorted all of that. Let's let things tick on and let's deal with everything over here. So new student time. Oh, an alchemy apprentice. Gokas, you are perfect for our new, uh, our new class. Come on in. We have got Moga. She's not particularly dedicated to anything, so again, just fill this class a little bit. Vlad the Vampire, marvellous. Why don't you come join us? Let's stick you up into this one. Athletic Steadfast, Peter here is going to join our alchemy class. And finally, we've got Ian, who's a child of nature, so she go into our Jack of All Trades class, so he can hopefully focus on that. Next up, we've got Graduation Day! Okay, 
So, lots and lots of different things occurring here, and Rose has decided to become a librarian. Interesting. She had a lot of different options, so that's pretty cool. We get prestige, we have a plus 1% chance of having a worker trait. I'll accept that. Next up, Christine is becoming a ranger, apparently. Look at this! Little chap looks like Hagrid. Very cool. Um, so this is due to their knowledge of animals. You don't get any prestige, but you get 13 HM mana and 20 gold. I mean, I'm not too fussed. That seems like a reasonable option to me. Better than dead. So, yes, take that. Ooh, a conscripted mage for Henrietta. Again, no prestige, but plus 1% reputation gains with the king. Why not? It's not awful. Ah, an adventurer for Lawrence. Lawrence doesn't look very happy about this, but 200 gold, I can, I can go with that. Another adventurer. Cool, guys, what are you all up to? You could have been a hero. You could have been a hero. Okay, we'll take that, though. Ooh, a circus handler. Okay, this is pretty jazzy. Uh, nature mana and arcane mana, so yeah, nothing wrong with that. Get this jazzy sort of whip and fire thing going on, and we get a bit of prestige, so thank you. A cartographer here for Megan. 100 light mana, 100 arcane mana, and a bit of prestige. I do note, however, that uh, that was all my graduations, and I did not get one elemental summoner. So while it was very useful here, we're on to 30 out of the 110, we're not doing very well with getting elemental summoners, and we're roughly halfway through this bar now, so we'd better try and crack on with that. Otherwise, we have paid all of our salaries for the time being, but we can send out our guinea pigs, so yes, we were going to send you out to the Adventurer's Guild, I believe. Yes, contact you. Okay, so. A mercenary mage from the camp walks towards you and challenges you to a duel. Just a friendly magic duel to get the blood pumping. Okay, I think last time we let him win for the uh, 20 reputation. Um, which, to be honest, is probably what I'm going to do again now. So, yes, you can win, you can win. I'll get it back, I'm sure. But I'd like to keep my reputation with them quite high, because, you know, if they let me go and explore another dungeon, that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Quite enjoyed my last dungeon jaunt. So, not sure my students did, but I certainly did. Oh, I've just noticed this. Look, we've got a chap walking around with the horns on. You must, uh, you must be good at whatever it was to get the horns. Yeah, look at that. Marvellous. Oh, that's quite fun. You've got the amulet and the horns. You are doing well for us here, Guppy. Strong effort. Okay. And there's a the little white dragon flying through. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ah, oh, this is all going rather well. Now, let's grab a couple more cards. I'd like some more standard deck cards, but I am, again, very apprehensive of using all my money and not being able to pay my uh, wages. I do like how gold everything's gone in here. Doesn't that look magnificent? Oh, it really does. Anyway, yes, arcane card. What have we got? We could have an arcane crystal staff. Okay. Well, this could be really good fun, actually. So, if a student is level 3 in Elementalism and level 2 in Enchantment, they get an Arcane Crystal Staff and therefore learn magic 25% faster. I have very limited idea over whether we've even got the right room to uh, have students learning Enchantment, but, you know, could be interesting. I'm also keen on this one though, just to boost, boost, boost the skills as much as we can. And the Gazebo was rather good for reducing boredom and sanity and generating prestige. You know what, I'm going to get another gazebo. I know, I know. I was looking at the others, admiring the others, and then I chose the gazebo. Can you level up the gazebo? I believe you probably can. Um, yeah, let's have a little look. Okay, so we have leveled up the gazebo, and now it's just a bit better. So, you know, there's that, there's that. All good, all good. Oh, and already we can get another arcane card. So you'd never know that these things were actually costing me more every time with the speed that we managed to produce this stuff. It's really quite impressive. Mystical eyes. Okay. Students feel they're being watched. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, hunger decreases for active characters in the room from the heat box for them in the future. And the temporal room, which uh, allows them to improve their magic. I'm very keen on the idea, you know, of just, like, levelling up all of my rooms. Do I even have one of these rooms? I mean, I'm, I'm scrolling the screen around and I'm not seeing one. Cool, blimey. Maybe after all that, we don't actually have a temporal room. Who'd have thunk it, eh? Who'd have thunk it? I'm not just being blind, am I? 
And I mean, I know where my other ones are. We've got the room over here, the portal magic room, and we've got the one up here, the elementalism room, and then we've got the general one, which is, I think, this one. Yes, the general arcane room, but apparently we just never got a temporal room. So, you know, that's interesting. That's interesting. I'm going to stick it up here because, you know, onwards and upwards. It's all good, isn't it? And we'll have Victoria, the excellent teacher who's very punctual, come in and teach it. The other bonus to it being up here, that not only is it glorious with a rather cool bit of roof, but it's above the uh, trophy room. So, you know, trophy room is going to be doing something good there, surely. Now, let's grab ourselves another nature card. Ooh, a Manivore snake. Pray tell, what is that? It improves the efficiency of all the rooms on the snake's floor. Okay, well that seems great. A shaman staff, so if a student is at least level 2 in druidism, they get a staff and generate 30% more nature mana while studying. Okay, <laughs> I like this. It's not really a proper staff, but more like a stick with some duct tape. Sounds about right. Kind of like, you know, that thing you do at festivals where you just get loads of beer cans and every time you finish one, you tape it to the next one with some duct tape until eventually you've got a really, really, really long staff and then you try and battle with someone with your beer can staff. Anyone else do that? No, just me. Anyway, um, we could also have a stable, which is great because it gives you loads of space for magical creatures. But I think, I think I fancy the Man of All Snake. I'm just a little concerned that I might not have anywhere for him to live. So let's grab him and then see. Yeah, I think he might just be chilling in my inventory until I can find another room to place him in. So something to bear in mind going forwards now. Let's welcome some new students. Who have we got? We've got Morthios. Okay, come on in, come on in. Here we have got Half-Orc Grishna, who is a worker. Okay, lovely, good job, good job. Ray, the light sleeper, come in, come in. Ooh, look at you, you're an elf, marvelous. Um, only chooses among the best four futures. They are so good, the elves. They really are. But seven years of study? Call blimey O'Reilly. Come on in. And Isidore, not too much going on with you, just some claustrophobia, which isn't the most exciting thing to have happen, is it? So, uh, yes, we'll welcome you in and we'll stick you in this class. Here we'll have Peggy. Yep, you can go in there too. And that's everyone. So we've paid our term salaries. Boo. Oh, look at this. We've just generated ourselves a millowing feather, an alchemical component. So we can probably now brew ourselves a potion. So we've managed to brew ourselves an alchemical reagent, which would gain us 200 alchemy mana. Okay, well, that's very interesting. Look at that. All these different potions, and that's what we've learnt. So, yeah. Have to come and try something different next time we get some uh, ingredients, but it's, it's quite fun to know that uh, all these different combinations, and we're getting somewhere with them. Should we just have the potion? Look at that, instant mana, magnificent. Okay, um, so next thing's next. I believe this is the student that was complaining she was bored and we should probably check in with her. Oh, and she's complaining that she's bored again. We don't know what to do. There's nothing fun in the student's hall. Okay. Well, at least this time we've got this option, which is, uh, all right, I'll give you some applied alchemy work. Make me some alcohol. I'm also sure that's probably not what you should be telling students to do, but hey, I'm happy to give it a crack. I mean, we tried some of the others and it clearly didn't work and I don't really want to lose all that mana. So yeah, let's have a go. Draw some alcohol, draw an alembic. And plus, you know, the other thing is that now we can make a different potion, can't we? Because uh, alcohol is an ingredient. So if we stick in alcohol and then we stick in this Parker Fit hat and then we stick in the Mandragore Croot, what do we create? Uh oh, <laughs> we've made a demonic distillation. So very cool to get 200 shadow mana, but I'm not sure that that's truly the best thing we should be doing. But still, gorgeous looking bottle, isn't it? Reminds me of like a sea witch Ursula type thing, purple with tentacles. Let's use it. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, I do quite enjoy that. It's quite fun, this. It really is. We'll have to see what more we can brew. Anyway, for the moment, let's see if we can stick this Alembic in somewhere. How about we put it... Oh, I don't know. Options, options. Um, let's stick it just there, shall we? Lovely. 
and then we will let things tick on and we will draw ourselves a shadow card. I know that we've already managed to get another alcohol, so you know, we're gonna get lots and lots and lots of alcohol from this, it's all going well. Now, we don't really want a prism, we don't yet have an assassin's arena, we just put in our janitor's lodge, so should we have a assassin's arena? Get all the different kinds of, uh, you know, evil skills going underway? I think that might be a good option, so yes. Let's have one of those, and then let's see where we can put it. How about... Oh, here might be nice, actually, because it could actually, like, link this gap up a little bit and make it a little bit less janky over there. And who's going to teach? Oh, you know, what's going to win? It's going to be you with the glorious beard. Come on in. Yes, now we've just got this strange gap here where nothing occurs, but it's a little bit less, uh broken, shall we say. Oh, our guinea pig's returned. Who should we chat to today? Oh, they're loving us over here, the adventurers, aren't they? Shall we talk to... Oh, should we go talk to the orcs? What's my mana situation like? I mean, we've got a bit of alchemy, and we're doing quite well for everything other than shadow, so yes, let's, let's go chat to the orcs and see what we can do for them. Oh, all the options. We love it. Ah, humans, what do you want? The orc warriors seem to have been beaten pretty badly by the Lord of Evil. Oh no! Okay, so, options. We can gain plus 10. We can lose 5 but gain some nature mana. We can lose 40, but then the Lord of Evil also loses 3%. We can tell them that we're going to set up an infirmary in the village. Ah, oh, that's quite cute. So we'd gain 30 with them, but we would lose 15 with the peasants. Or we can say that we'll nurse their warriors back to health and they'll be back to fighting as soon as tomorrow. Oh, that's cute. Aw, oh, yes, no, I agree with that. Let's let's nurse them back to health. And on the plus side, the Lord of Evil loses 1% of his strength, so we'll accept. Aw, oh, you even saw it, like, demonstrably jump backwards. I'm always on board for that. That's rather wonderful. Okay. Ah, oh, right. Well, next thing's next. Let's draw ourselves a light card, as we seem to have enough mana for that. What is it going to offer us? Well, things that we have all of. I mean, it might be a good idea to get another Bright Staff Refectory. I know I keep saying I've got one, but it only allows seven staff members in, and we do seem to have quite a lot of staff members knocking around the place now. So, I guess the option is, do we just level that one up, or do we put another one in? Looking at it, actually, there's only one teacher in here currently. There's number two. But if there's not actually that many teachers in here, maybe we just level this one up for the time being. I was thinking we might need to put another one in just to, uh, you know, make sure the teachers were uh, covered. But apparently that's not the case. Right. New students. Always new students. Okay. Child of nature. You go in my general one. Courageous and down to earth. Oh, learns arcane magic slower. Well, that's very upsetting. Go in my general one. Oh, a jack of all trades. Uh, yep. Just come join. We've got unbreakable and also down to earth. What is this madness? Why are you all down to earth all of a sudden? You can go in there. And a child of nature, you can go in there. Okay. We've paid our salaries, so that's always good. Let's grab ourselves another nature card. Ooh. Plant that eats scholar's hands. He looks like a cross between a Venus flytrap, but with dinosaur heads. That's adorable. Active characters in this room lose a lot of boredom, but also lose a little bit of health. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Then we know about the stables, and we know about the guardian, as we've had both. And I'm kind of tempted, you know, just to get a stable, just because if we place it in another place, obviously we're not going to get the improvements that we would have done were we to level up the stable, but we get more space for magical animals. And, you know, I'm a big fan of that. So, yeah, I think we're just going to put another stable in. Um, maybe just here, actually. And teacher-wise, I'm not too worried. Um, which is actually better, mediocre or appropriate? Apparently appropriate, as you lower things by 10%. So, yes, Francis, in you come. And then we can put our snake in! Which I've just thought about it and improves things on this floor. Is there much on this floor? Oh, there is. There is, actually. That's all right. I was worried for a second we'd chosen one of the floors we hadn't really put anything on, and that would have been a bit of a nightmare, wouldn't it? 
or rather not a nightmare, but just very poor placement on my behalf. But uh, things look okay, and our snake has a home. And we've got even more glorious unicorn guineas now. Oh, we're being contacted by the peasants, it looks like. No more holidays. Our kid bothers us much less when he is at your school than when he is at home. Well, yeah. Could you make sure he does not come home too often? I mean, I'm not sure that's a good idea, is it? I mean, isn't the whole point of having children that you want to see your children? No? Apparently not. What do I know? Anyway, let's see what the options are. We'll make a space just for him. Okay. If he gets a better bed, he might not come see you so often. Interesting. Surely an animal would convince him to stay. Or, there is nothing we can do, he's probably going home because he likes you. Somehow. Ha! <laughs> I like that option. I mean, I'm not going to pick it, but I like that option. Um... I think let's spend 50 gold and draw the private bedroom. That seems like a sensible move. I was looking at the private bedroom before and I did rather like it as a concept. So let's stick a private bedroom in up here, shall we? Um, or rather, let's stick it over here. And then there's somewhere to sleep over here, as well as the two dormitories back on this side of the place. And we'll send our guinea pig off on a glorious mission. Who are you going to chat with today? Um, I mean, we haven't chatted with the villagers for a little while, so uh, let's do that, shall we? Okay. What do you want? Quick, you're scaring the cows. You notice many people in the village dressed in black, their faces betraying deep sadness. It seems a burial is taking place. Okay, so we could offer them some fertility potions and gain 20 faction points but lose 25 nature mana. We could just say, hey, hope you're all right, get five faction points. Um, I mean, we could make a deal were we to uh, have more of the reputation, I believe, which we don't. Or we could wait until the end of the ceremony to perform a necromantic ritual. Okay, this entertains me a lot, but I feel like those consequences are going to be really negative. And you'd lose all that faction and, you know, it just doesn't seem, doesn't seem smart when we can just throw them some fertility potions and they'll be happy. So we'll do that. Now, what else have we got? Well, we appear to have a third alcohol. I don't think we had three before, did we? But we've also got new students arriving! Okay. Oh, an alchemy apprentice. In you come. Ambitious? Well, that's got to be good. Um, so I'm going to put you in here, because I really need some more people to do that uh, graduation thing. Also ambitious. You can go in there. Light sleeper. Athletic. I mean, come on in. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Paid for our wages, paid for all of that jazz. Marvellous, they're arriving. Okay, we have a stupid amount of arcane magic. So, time to draw another card. What are we going to pick? We could have another counsellor's office. I'm not sure I've really seen much benefit from it yet, but theoretically it's going to help a lot. Or we could level up our interdimensional room. So, options, options. Um... I mean, I'm not sure that getting another one of those is going to benefit us in any way. I mean, we can drop it. Of course we can drop it. We proved that before, but I don't know that it would benefit us. So for the moment, let's have the counsellor's office and we'll level this lovely place up. I do like the way they seem to change very slightly when you level them up. This place looks rather beautiful, doesn't it? Look at all this, like, star print fabric. Hmm, lovely. Okay. Um, anyway... What else are we looking at? We are looking at... Oh, another arcane card. Okay, we could have the uh, crystal staff, or we could level up our temporal room, or our elementalism's dojo. Let's level this one up. Go on them. In you go. Marvellous. We could generate some gold from the betting, you know. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Tempting, tempting. Let's do it. I mean, they've still got a plus 17% efficiency, and everyone likes gold. Okay. Oh, it's graduation time. Okay, let's run through these, and then we will work on all those cards, as there are a lot that we can pick up. So, firstly, new students. A shadow disciple who's unbreakable. Okay, in you come. An orphan allergic to crustaceans. Oh, no. Well, that's all right. You can go and be arcane. Passionate and worker. Okay, come on in. That's all of you. Now, let's hope, let's hope, let's hope we manage to get some elemental summoners. I mean, I'm happy with everyone graduating, but please, elemental summoner. 
Cartographer. Okay, not quite what we were aiming at, but I will take it. Prestige and mana is always good. A hero reduces all prestige losses by 0.5%. That's interesting. I don't think we've had a hero yet, so uh, yes, very cool. We'll take that. Conscripted mage, not bad, not bad. I mean, I'm not sure about this uh, here, zero. But, you know, could be worse. Let's have a look though. Conscripted Mage was only 4.56%. They could have been a war leader, and we've not had a war leader. So, I'm almost tempted, you know. I mean, how bad can this go? Oh, well. We didn't get war leader, but we did get adventurer. And 200 gold, I'll take it. They didn't get any prestige for us anyway, so there we go. Ah, oh, yay! Look at this, guys! We got an elemental summoner! Woo! Okay. Gravedigger. Receive two light mana when you draw a shadow card. Interesting, interesting. I'm pretty sure we haven't had this one before yet, Freddy. You've uh, discovered something new for us. Okay, well, we'll take that. Why not? Here we've got a ritual master. Okay, interesting. From the druidism. Cool. Librarian. We've definitely had a few of those, but what's shouting out to me, Tom, is that you had an option to become a unicorn handler and you didn't take it. A unicorn handler! It could have been so exciting! Um, but hey, we've learnt from the last one that apparently re-rolling doesn't make the uh, more likely ones necessarily come up, so we'll just accept that because I do quite like this and, you know, prestige is always good. Conscripted Mage. So I'm just not sure about this one because it doesn't give you prestige. It doesn't seem to really be all that useful. Like, yes, the king should like us and all of that, but uh, we're not making good progress with him, are we? Anyway, we'll accept you, I guess. Or do we re-roll? Nah, let's go rogue. Re-roll! Okay, you're still a conscripted mage. Accept. Ooh, a ghoul. Okay, so your new students have a 2% chance of losing the claustrophobia negative trait. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, sadly, no prestige, but if I re-roll, you're only going to become an adventurer, which doesn't give prestige anyway, so we'll accept that. And that's all of you. Okay, term salaries paid. Now quickly, let's leave it on pause while we grab a lot of uh, new cards, shall we? We're up to 39 here, we are making some progress. And technically, 3 out of 12 here is a quarter of the way through, so could be worse, could be worse. Now, cards. Shadow card. Ooh, these are pretty. Infernal wings. When a student is at least level 4 in demonology and level 3 in necromancy, they get infernal wings and generate more shadow mana. I mean, I don't think we've got anyone skilled enough, but they're very beautiful to look at. The necro staff, also useful. And the divermi tentaculi. Non-humans, elves, vampires, werewolves, deep folk and half-orc working in this room improve in the magic disciplines they already know. Ooh, I want that. That's really cool. Can we fit that in? Oh, we can fit that in the trophy room. Uh, yes, please. Fabulous. Well, this is looking lovely in our trophy room and hopefully that will be very, very useful for us. Now, more cards. We've got the arcane card. We could have a psi crystal. Active characters get the speed effect. Um, Elementalists 1 or Window to Another World. I think I fancy that. We'll have one of those. Let's take an alchemy card. Ooh, look at all of this. A ritual orc painting where students have a higher chance of being half orcs. Very cool. Guild banner where they can improve reputation with the Adventurers Guild. Yes, I like the idea of that. Or another observatory. Oh, I like the idea of the guild banner. We'll have that. Light deck. What are we going to get? Oh, it's another Pegasus. Oh, I do like this. I do like the Pegasuses. Is that how you pluralize a Pegasus? Pegasi? Pegasuses? Strong question. Let me know if you know. Anyway, uh, yes, trophy room. They are very, very handy. Or Heroes Chapel, we could level it up. I'm quite keen on the trophy room, you know. Like, they do have so much potential to really boost some of our uh, stuffs. Um, yeah, let's have another trophy room. Okay, and then a nature card. Ooh, full season shoulder pads. Interesting. It doesn't look like it would be too hard for a student to get one of these. You only need to be level 1 in druidism and level 1 in herbalism. And then you get the shoulder pads and their health gains are doubled. Interesting. We could get more pigs, more pigs. Interesting. Um, or a lunar calendar. 
active students have a small chance of becoming werewolves. I think we should get another pig chamber. I'm not sure if we can level up the pig chamber. We can. Okay, well, in that case, yes, level up the pig chamber. Done. Okay, and we're going to grab one standard deck card. What's a weapon and shield do? Active characters in the room increase their combat power. Okay, well, it could be interesting. Or we could get another refectory, which is probably a good thing, as I think we've only got one, and I feel like it might be good to have another one. So let's do that. Now, now let's go and place some of these things. So let's have another refectory, I don't know, over here somewhere? Lovely. The trophy room. Well, the other trophy room is there. So how about we put a trophy room, I don't know, here? And focus on everything on this level, maybe? Or do we stick it here? Oh, I don't know. I mean, or here could be good, because it benefits vertical as well as horizontal. So many options. Well, let's go here. Done. And then we'll just see if we can pad out this level a little bit. Lovely. A guild banner, that can go in basically anywhere, so that room will do. And a window to another world. Again, I'm not too worried where this goes. Why don't you learn while you sleep? Lovely. Done. Okay. Let's keep time ticking along nicely. And our guinea pig is back. He really does travel, this guy, doesn't he? All over the place. Now, we're not doing very well with the Lord of Evil, but you know, I'm not too worried about that. It's probably a good idea to go and see the sleeping troll, but I feel like we might need a bit more mana before we go see him. So how about we go to see the king? Because, you know, if we do that, that has to be good. Okay, I'm currently extremely busy. What do you need? Before the castle gates waits a group of horses alongside several packs of dogs. A royal hunting session is about to start. Ooh, okay. Well, options here. I simply came for the pleasure of conversing with our dear majesty. Good, plus ten. We like faction points. We could ask for money. Nah, I'm alright. Or we could ask them to attack the Lord of Evil. I mean, we don't have the option to do that because they don't like us enough, so no. We could tell him to enjoy the hunt, which is good because it would get us 15 faction points. Or we could ask to join it. But we can't, because again, he doesn't like us enough, so let's just tell him to have a nice time and reap the benefits in 15 points. So that's all good. Gained a couple of Milliwing feathers, which is rather lovely. Shame we can't use two of the same ingredient, we need a third. I don't know if we're really creating any others, but we'll have to keep an eye out. And let's see what this chap's after. Congratulations! Dear head teacher. thank you! The entire teaching team would like to thank you for your support. The teacher's lounge, refectories, private apartments, we have everything we need. It's perfect. Ah, thank you. That's really kind. So, we can say, it's perfectly normal for some prestige points. We could say, it's only the start for some private apartments. We could say, I kept the best for last for a coffee machine. Ah, they've got one of those. Or we could say, I owed it to my favourite teachers for a gift and some new students, but um, we can't because we don't have a Fawning Curse spellbook. So uh, yeah, what do we fancy? Should we, should we get some more private apartments? Is that a good idea? I mean, it feels like a good idea. Let's do it. Okay. Welcome more private apartments. We've got the one there. Let's stick one over here so that teachers don't have to travel too far. And, you know, we've just put a trophy room up there. So if we pad out and get this floor uh, under control, then it'll be good, right? Because, um, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. More rooms, trophy floor. That's the answer here. That's the answer. Okay. Now, keeping an eye on what else is going on, there appears to be a rather large fire in the guinea pig tower, which is a little bit ominous. And new students are arriving, so let's welcome them in. Okay, bibliophobia and claustrophobia. That's not great, is it? Not great at all. Well, come join us anyway. Okay, here we have got an antisocial worker. Okay, um, an orphan, down to earth. Boo, we don't like down to earth. Okay, arcane scholar. Yes, we like those very much. Courageous, that is always nice. Um, well behaved, chatty, heavy sleeper, nothing too extravagant there. And here we've got a worker who is unbreakable, but is also a procrastinator and allergic to crustaceans, so that's all a bit much. Um, 
Passionate and popular, okay. That seems like a reasonable combination. Come join our team. Lovely, lovely. And we've spent some more money on salaries. That seems to be a pretty constant thing. We are really drawing along this bar at the top now, aren't we? The Lord of Evil's going to be here before we know it, and I'm not sure I feel ready for that at all. So let's get some more cards. Come on, cards. Save us, save us. Okay, what have we got? Another royal banner is an option. The hourglass is an option. I think I quite like the idea of this. Let's just do this uh, sort of thing where we get lots of things that improve temporal magic or any sort of magic just by the presence of being in the room. And then they can like learn over lunch, learn over dinner, you know, learn while you're sleeping. And hopefully, 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 we'll just get our students good enough that we can make some progress here. And the armillary sphere gives them potential chance of getting the passionate trait. So yeah, I mean, stuff it. Let's take that as well. Let's put that in one of the trophy rooms. I think we filled this trophy room, but you know, space in that one. Why not? And the hourglass. Yeah, you guys, while you snooze, you can learn. Lovely. And we've got some nature cards on offer. Ooh, look at that. Herbalist boards. They look beautiful. Students learn herbalism. Yeah, see this seems really sensible to me. Like if we stick that in here while they're asleep, they're learning herbalism and they're learning temporal magic. So surely that is a good thing. Like sleeping and learning, sleeping and learning. I'm all on board. I have just noticed. We are getting contacted. Zzz, zzz, boo, boo, zzz. The giant forest troll rides. Be careful. Okay. I don't want him to wake up. Sleep spell, sleep spell. We're probably not doing very well for faction points with him, but sleep spell. Okay, he's asleep again. And we can go contact someone. We are down to negative 35. I mean, it could be worse, it could be worse. Should we just go over and see what he wants? Yeah, let's contact him. Is there anything that we can do? I mean, well, there is, there is. He's like zzz, zzz. So we could let him sleep. We could steal money from him, bad idea, or we could use some nature mana to improve our faction points with him and get some prestige. So we are most definitely going to do this because this seems smart. Okay, lovely, 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 lovely. I just don't want that guy waking up and coming and trashing the whole school and you know, it would just be a disaster. <sighs> students seem to be swinging around very quickly this time. More students. Okay. Child of nature, in you come, in you come, in you come. Allergic to crustaceans is not great. So let's put you in to this one, and you, and why don't you go in there? Lovely. Okay. There's not much uh, logic in how I'm sorting my children anymore. They're just in they come. Now, what have we got here? Off the back of a wagon. Hi, apologies for bothering you, but something fell off the back of a wagon near your school, so I assumed it was yours. And I bet you're the kind of guy who likes to reward generosity, aren't you? What do you think? Um, I mean, I don't know about you, but off the back of a wagon tends to mean you stole it. What are the options? So, alright, what have you got to offer? Where we receive 100 gold, but get a card. Or, um, we get two prestige points. No, I fancy a card. Let's do it. What do we want? Um, I mean, we've already got two of those, and we've got one of those, so let's have this one, eh? Let's have this one. Ta-da! There we go! In it goes. Marvellous. Um, extra shaman staffs for all. Now, let's get some more cards. What do we fancy? Um, uh, I don't know. How about some mystical eyes? They're really, really, really damn creepy, but you know, why not? Into the trophy room they go! Cool, they are creepy, aren't they? It's literally just a jar full of uh, floating eyeballs. They don't even match as pairs. Maybe they've got some sort of, I don't know, magical things going on in there. Magical things, magical things. Anyway, what's up next? We've got a light card. Ooh, look at that, a sacred stained glass window. So another one of these lovely things where students will just improve their skills by being in the room. So yes, we will certainly have that and they can have some improvement while they eat as this is our refectory. Perfect. Okay, 
What's up next? A nature card. Lovely. Ooh, a green bed. Students who sleep in this bed learn a bit of druidism and herbalism. Ooh, that is jazzy. Or a wolf's tooth, where they move 20% faster if they get it by having level 1 beast magic and level 1 herbalism. Ooh, these are so cool. Strong options. I'm kind of tempted. Let's, let's have this green bed. Oh, and we can just change another one. Let's put it in this corner. Oh, look at that. That's rather glorious, isn't it? I mean, obviously you're going to want to sleep in that bed now, not the other beds. Oh, that is wonderful. And look, little bubbles here. They're dreaming and magic is going into their heads. And oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, new student time. Um, yes, come join our team. Come join our team. Uh, why not? I'm not too worried about where you go. Join our team. Okay, now we've paid those and we can talk to somebody again. So let's do that. Who wants to chat today? How about we speak... Should we speak to the orcs again? And see if we can get 15 more and lower the cost of cards? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so... Oh, it's poor Nerfy again. Okay. How does this guy keep losing his dog? Madness. Madness. Well, we could get another orc hound if we wanted to. Um, or we could kind of just ignore that and try and gain the faction points that we were after. Um, so it's such a shame we can't clean the dog. Need to get ourselves a cleaning potion. Okay. Note to self. Try and learn to clean. Let's just get some faction points for the moment, shall we? There we go. Okay. We do need to try and pick up a card at some point that allows us to generate at least one more potion-y thing so that we can put some of these to good use. So let's draw some more cards. Nature. New werewolves. Ooh, lovely. Recruit five new werewolves. I mean, yeah, let's do that. Welcome to the school, werewolf types. Okay. Come on in. Come on in. Come join. Ooh, Arcane Scholar, we like you. Come on in, come on in, come and join my wonderful school. Right, Arcane card. Mystical birdies! I do like those. And I like the gazebo as well. In fact, obviously I like all of these cards as um, we've got them all. I think it's a good idea to get some more mystical birdies though, because um, recovering sanity is always nice. We can stick them over here, I believe, in um, my second, uh, there it is, my second lovely stable. That's the word. Okay. Oh gosh, someone with a pitchfork. That's not, never a good sign, is it? Never a good sign. What do you want? Unexpected gift. My dear heretic sorcerer friend, what a pleasure to see you. To calm any tensions there might be, we come bearing a gift. Oh, okay. Sacred magic. This is so nice. We don't want any of this. Give everything to the orphanage for demonist children. Some equipment to teach light magic. Fantastic. Or a pack of blessed halos. Fantastic. I mean, I am surprised. This is most lovely. I'm kind of tempted by the prestige, you know. Let's do it. Look at that. We've breached a hundred. Huzzah. That feels like a good thing. Um... Is this, like, graffiti? <laughs> Are we gonna have to send our cleaner in here? What's going on in here, guys? Don't you be doing the old graffiti? I don't blimmin' know. Right. Paid our bills. Get more students! There seems to be a lot of people turning up at the moment. Probably because our uh, prestige is going up. But, uh, yes. Lots and lots and lots of people. So, yes. Just come on in. Come on in. There we go. And it's graduation day! Right. If we could just have another, you know, nine elemental summoners. A conscripted mage. I mean, not quite the same. Ooh, a mer manufacturer. That could be interesting, couldn't it? Shame you weren't that, eh, Penny? Shame you weren't that. Let's re-roll you. Oh, you've become an inventor. Okay, well that's far more exciting. Now we get prestige, and you reduce the cost of alchemy cards by five, so thank you. Much better, Penny. A magic teacher. Okay, that's pretty jazzy. We'll take that. Yay! 
Yay! Your head might be a pumpkin, but you're an elemental summoner. Huzzah! Oh, also, look, 14 remaining futures. Loads of people are graduating today. We're losing half our school. Okay. Don't know about this great priest. I don't think we've had one of those before. I also don't think we've had a worm summoner. But uh, protective spirit's quite nice. Plenty of mana, some prestige. Grave digger. Okay, yes, we've accepted that that one's reasonable. Nice job, Gilbert. Yay! More elemental summoners! Victoria, good job. Okay. And another one. Ooh, we are making progress. Oh my gosh, I could get so behind this. Progress, progress. Oh my gosh, and another one. Okay, something a bit different. I was getting very excited there. Jack has become a librarian. Lovely. Village mage. Okay, Susan, not bad, not bad. Don't think we've seen a shepherd yet though, so it could be interesting. Librarian, Sebastian, okay. Elementalist, yes. Morrigan, not bad, not bad. Village mage, okay. Well, you didn't have many options, did you? Blimey, were you just really bad at studying? I don't know. Okay. Oh, an altar child, okay. Sabrina, I definitely don't think we've seen one of those, but uh, yes, we'll accept it. Prestige and a little bit of gold. A gardener, okay. Lovely. An inventor, yes, we liked that a moment ago. And an adventurer. Well, you see, the thing with this is, I'm not sure I want you to be an adventurer. Because, because, because. Ink maker. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen that, so I'm going to try re-rolling you. Oh, you became a village mage. Dang it, you picked the one I had seen before. But I'll accept it. It'll do, it'll do. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? We're up to 8 out of 12. That's, uh... Two thirds of the way there. Four more to go. And we've now graduated 57 people, which is basically just over half. So yeah, also really positive. Very pleased with that. And I think on that wonderful high note, we will say thank you very much and leave it there for today. We'll return next time, send our guinea pig on a quest and try and get some more potion ingredients. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. If you do want to leave a like on this video or subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the fun goings on and see when the next part to this is, that would be magnificent. And until next time folks, thank you and goodbye!